Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification game. God Squad. It's what it is, man. Look, man, I was just sitting here talking to uh, IBFP, man. Shout out to IBFP, man. I was sitting here talking to him, and uh, we were just having a rap about Jaime Mogia and Oscar De La Hoya. And how Oscar De La Hoya is rushing Jaime Mongia. You got Jaime fighting at 160. He's finna fight this Sullivan dude. This old Sullivan guy. And that dude could crack. That dude got pop. You know, the dude that got the little, you know what I'm saying, Monopoly mustache and all the shit, bro. That dude crack. I done seen that dude fight many times. That dude can crack, bro. And Jaime Young, bro, he, he ain't got nothing to prove like that. No disrespect to him. I ain't saying it to be funny. I'm saying, like, you can let Jaime grow, bro. You can let Jaime. Jaime don't sell out venues by himself. The motherfucker you should be rushing is that nigga Ryan Garcia. Rush his ass. Put that motherfucker out there against Haney and shit. Put that man out there with them. Why would you rush Jaime when you got fucking Ryan Garcia selling out venues because he got the boy band look, got all kinds of little young teenage girls coming to see him? You know what I'm saying? He bringing the, the, the teenage world to boxing and shit. He bringing a whole new world. to He bringing the youth to boxing. And you trying to rush Jaime? Fuck is you doing, Oscar? Fuck wrong with you? Why are you rushing Jaime? Jaime Mogia need to stay at 54. Fight some cats at 54. Win a belt at 54 if possible. And then you move him up to 160. How many more again got no goddamn business fighting at 160 right now? I mean, respect to you for doing it. I respect the fact that you you out here, you trying to do that, Jaime. I respect that. For real, for real. Because the dude you fighting in January, that motherfucker cracked. He got popped. And you are you don't have no head movement, Jaime. You ain't got no head movement. You don't be slipping. You don't be weaving. You don't be. I mean, you have little hints of it. You show little glaring, glaring hints that you can do that. That that will be your skill set later on in your career. But that's not you right now. You a come forward fighter, wing and ding, take some to give some. And you don't want to be taking with the the, the the sum that O'Sullivan finna be giving you. That dude can crack. Oscar, you need to be rushing that motherfucker Ryan Garcia. That's the motherfucker you need to be putting out in big fights, bro. That's, that's, that's your money man right there. He got millions of followers on Instagram, millions of followers on Twitter, selling out venues by himself, bro. Got hella little girl screaming his name. Every time a nigga throw a punch, little girl screaming shit. There's no way in seven hells you shouldn't be having this boy band dude out here fighting all. And he good, too. It ain't like Ryan not good. Ryan got skills, too. Ryan can fight. So it's not like, and he want to fight the niggas though. I, I can understand if he wasn't trying to fight, but Oscar, why are you not rushing Ryan? That's your money maker right there, bro. Fuck is wrong with you? Why would you? Why are you doing this to Jaime, bro? I'm going for Jaime, bro. I'm going for Jaime to beat O'Sullivan, bro. I'm rocking with Jaime in this fight, win, lose, a draw, bro. I don't even know how Jaime going to win the fight, bro. I'm going to tell you the truth right here, right now. So when the predictions come, when people ask me, bro, what you think Jaime going to do? How you think he going to win? I don't even fucking know, bro. I'm just going for him to win the fight, bro. Just on the fact that he moving up this early in his career and the dude he fighting crack. And he got experience, bro. Oscar, why are you doing that to that boy? Why are you doing that, bro? Oscar, to, to me, to me, Oscar De La Hoya is the worst promoter in boxing. It's Oscar and Floyd. Them two, y'all like neck and neck to me, bruh. Well, I, I, I ain't gonna say neck and neck because cause Floyd, he, he got more niggas and he pay motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? He he sell to niggas a lot better than you, Oscar. Like, you obviously be fucking niggas over, bruh. Like, that don't make no damn sense, Oscar. You should be putting Ryan Garcia against top dudes since you want to rush this motherfucker, Jaime Mongia. Bro, you doing niggas wrong, Oscar. Shout out to IBFP, man. Shout out to the whole NBBC click, man. Appreciate you, IBFP. Thank you for hollering at me, bro. You know what I'm saying? People don't know that this shit real out here. But I appreciate you hitting me up, bro. You know, it's all love. You're my brother from another mother. But this shit Oscar De La Hoya doing in boxing is foul is wrong, bro. You doing Jaime wrong, bro. And I think you doing Ryan and Canelo wrong, too. That's why Canelo don't fuck with you like that. I saw that in the press conference when he hugged Bernard Hopkins. He hugged him, and then when he saw you, all he did was just kind of get, <laughs> and he walked by you. Check it out. 
You can tell the difference because he embraced Bernard Hopkins. Why wouldn't he embrace you and you're supposed to be the man that get him paid? If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I hit y'all with some hot shit. Follow me on Instagram at DT underscore boom. Follow me on Twitter at DBoyWSO. Man, you already know who it is. It's your boy. DT3, new media, notification game. God Squad, what it is, man. One.